of the seminiferous tubule. So each ring is a seminiferous tubule. We've got these tissue on the outside. Okay, what are these? Interstitial cells. The first ring of cells in the tubule is what cell? Right. Oh, spermatogonia. Spermatogonia, the innermost ring of cells. Spermatid. Spermatids, yep. And then there are cells here, and a lot of times you can actually see the tails. And when if you see those tails, you can see that they're immature sperm. Okay. Questions on that? Some slides have better uh, immature sperm in there. I just don't have one. Here we go. The ovary. Oocytes. What do we have? Oocyte. Okay, so we have an oocyte here. We got another oocyte here. Another oocyte here. What else? The primary follicle. Primary follicle are these guys. So here's my oocyte. Here's a o oocyte with a primary follicle. Here's another one. The primordials are all along the outer edge. These are these tiny little ones. And next week in lecture we'll talk about how many we have. We have about three million. And then each one of these will turn into a primary, and then the primaries will become the mature ones. Um, anthrum is the space. Okay, so a follicle, mature follicles, this whole entire structure. Right. What else? Stroma. Stroma. That's the middle part, isn't it? The middle part. Not much stroma in this one. Um, it is where all the blood vessels are. And it's all this whole area. That's all stroma. Okay. Questions on that one? No? The esophagus. The esophagus. Layers. Smooth muscle, stratified squamous, and lumen. Yep, we've got our stratified squamous layer here. Submucosa here. Muscularis externa here. And then the serosa on the outside. <laughs> oh, oh God, did get it? Now he does, okay. <laughs> and then this one? Trachea. 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 Okay. Um, cell type, mucosa cell type here. Pseudostratified. Pseudostratified ciliated columnar. Okay. That's 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 that is, but you have to call it. If it's asking for cell type. Yeah, no, I'm just asking. It's layer wise, it's respiratory epithelium. Cell type is pseudostratified ciliated columnar cells. Okay. Um, this one, hyaline and then this out here. This is uh, it is adipose, but it's <laughs> adventitia for layer wise. Adventitia. Okay. Um, the hyaline cartilage is a, since this trachea is a C ring, so it goes all the way around, and at the back of the ring, tracheallus muscle. Tracheallus muscle is right there. on that one. So on this particular slide, I'm going to, um, this is one of the ones that will be on the assessment, so I'm going to ask you for any of those structures that I think just talked about on that slide. So it could be, um, it could be the muscularis externa layer, so then you'd have to find it under high magnification, put it under that muscularis externa. If I ask for pseudostratified ciliated columnar, 
if you go under high medication, find it, put it under the pointer. Okay. Now, if we put it under the pointer and say it was on... And if it's wrong? Oh, not at the right magnification. It has to be under 400. Under 400? Okay. And it'll tell you, the directions will tell you. Oh, okay. If you don't put it under that and you say you're done and I'm looking at it, then you don't, then you get points off. Okay. Long, long, long. Cell type? Simple squamous. Simple squamous. What are these? Alveoli. Alveoli. Yeah, what's this one? Artery? Oh, not artery, um. Bronchial. 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 Okay. Arteries, you'll see them having blood filled in them. You can see any here. There's blood in these guys. Those okay. are your arterioles. Put the blood in them. Emphysema. Okay, you can see that there's a few alveoli, just very, very few. Most of them is damaged, and you'll see lots of scar tissue, all this thickened tissue, all scar tissue. Okay. And probably see some dirt and debris in there too. Under higher mag, probably find some black specks. these circular structures. The outside ring is it is simple squamous. What's the structure name? Bulbary capsule. And then the inside glomerulus, which is also simple squamous. Right? And then here we have all these tubules. And those cell type? Simple cuboidal. The Stomach, so they have the gastric pits, right? These little pits, which is different from villi, because villi you're gonna actually see longer fingers. Okay, it's gonna be like this. These are gastric pits. This is mucosal lining cell type. It's stratified columnar. No. In the in the stomach. Simply on the outside. On the yeah, the mucosa. Oh no, the mucosa, mucosa. mucosa. Uh, No, because simple columnar. Simple columnar. Simple columnar. Remember we talked about this? Simple columnar in the middle of the digestive tract stratifies squamous on the beginning and ends. Those are the VI. Colon, because you can see all the uh, goblet cells all throughout. your small intestine. You can see all the large finger-like projections. In this section, is, you can see all these, see all them? <coughs> Long fingers. Okay. Those are, what, what are these called? The villi. The villi. Okay. Yeah. And then if I move the slide, this section is actually this region. Those are your papyrus patches. Okay. And so this one would be ilium. 
region. Mm -hmm. Different from... See, then you get to this one. How, see how there's no pirate factors in the center? Here's your, here's your villi for your mucosa lining. Uh, some mucosa and then your muscular succerna. Do these nodes, um, I hear our cosmologist in here, so they're saying these are the lamina probes. No, no, no. Okay. Just know that mucosa, submucosa, muscularis externa, serosa, the four layers. Okay. Yeah. But then in the small intestine, we have one extra feature in the ilium, and that's this region. You can see them. The pyres. Oh, the pyres patches. And just the ilium portion. The other portions of the small intestine don't have. Another section of small intestine, you don't have it right underneath the mucosa. There's no pyrus patches here. Here's another section of small intestine.